Welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The Manila Trench Crisis isn't science fiction. It's a real, looming threat hidden beneath the tranquil surface of the South China Sea. While the waves above seem calm, deep below, immense geological forces are quietly building, setting the stage for a disaster that could strike without warning. Scientists warn that this colossal fault line is primed for a catastrophic rupture. For decades, the trench has remained eerily silent, and this quiet is not reassuring. It's a sign that stress is accumulating. The longer the wait, the greater the risk, as energy continues to build up, waiting for the moment it will be violently released. The energy stored here could unleash a magnitude 9.0 earthquake, one of the most powerful possible on Earth. Such a quake would not only reshape coastlines but also topple buildings, destroy infrastructure, and impact the lives of millions across several countries. The devastation could be on a scale rarely seen in human history. This isn't just a Philippine problem. A quake here would send tsunamis racing across the region at jetliner speeds, threatening Vietnam, Taiwan, and southern China. Coastal communities could have only minutes to react before walls of water crash ashore, repeating the tragedies of past tsunamis, but on an even larger scale. The world remains largely unaware of this ticking time bomb, but geologists and disaster experts know the long silence is a prelude to disaster. They study the patterns, analyze the data, and warn that the next big event is not a matter of if, but when. The Manila Trench is a subduction zone where two massive tectonic plates collide and one is forced beneath the other. Over centuries, these plates lock together, building up strain and pressure until, inevitably, they slip and unleash their stored energy in a violent quake. When it breaks, the resulting megathrust quake could devastate cities across the region, especially those not built to withstand such immense force. Hospitals, schools and homes could be reduced to rubble in seconds, overwhelming emergency services and leaving millions in desperate need. Manila's 13 million residents live in the shadow of this threat, mostly unaware as they go about their daily routines. Life continues as normal, but beneath their feet, the danger grows with each passing day. This is a wake-up call for everyone in the region. Understand the science, recognize the danger, and take steps to prepare. Community awareness, emergency planning, and personal preparedness can make the difference between survival and tragedy when disaster strikes. The clock is ticking, and the pressure is only building. The time to act is now before nature reminds us of its incredible power. To truly grasp the danger posed by the Manila Trench, we first need to understand the powerful forces at work beneath our feet. Tectonic plates. These plates are giant, rigid slabs of rock, slowly drifting atop the Earth's semi-fluid mantle moving just centimeters each year, yet carrying continents and oceans with them. Where these massive plates collide or slide past one another, immense friction builds up, creating fault lines, fractures in the Earth's crust, like the infamous Manila Trench. In this region, the South China Sea Plate is relentlessly forced beneath the Philippine Sea Plate, a process called subduction. Over centuries, this movement locks up enormous amounts of energy deep underground. Imagine it as a gigantic spring, slowly compressing and storing tension with every passing year, waiting for the moment it will be released. The Manila Trench itself is a colossal subduction zone, stretching over a thousand kilometers along the ocean floor. As the plates push and grind against each other, the strain continues to grow, unseen but relentless. Scientists closely monitor this deformation using advanced sensors and satellite data. The evidence is clear. The trench is locked, accumulating stress, and primed for a major release. When the pressure finally becomes too great, the overriding plate will snap back in a violent rebound, unleashing centuries of pent-up energy in just a matter of minutes. This sudden movement will displace vast volumes of seawater, sending a massive tsunami racing toward nearby coastlines at incredible speeds. The Manila Trench has all the ingredients for a disaster on the scale of the 2004 Indian Ocean or 2011 Japan tsunamis, events that claimed hundreds of thousands of lives and reshaped entire regions. What makes this even more alarming is its proximity to densely populated cities like Manila, where millions of people live just meters above sea level, directly in harm's way. The science is unambiguous, the risk is real, the threat is urgent, and understanding the Manila Trench is the first step toward preparing for what could be a catastrophic event. Picture trying to bend a thick plastic ruler, it resists then suddenly snaps. The Manila Trench is that ruler but on a planetary scale storing energy for centuries. The last great rupture may have been in the 16th or 17th century, 
making today's silence deeply concerning. Each quiet year adds more strain with no small quakes to relieve the pressure. The result? A single massive event when the fault finally gives way. A magnitude 9.0 quake here would be nearly a thousand times more powerful than typical regional earthquakes. This energy can liquefy ground, trigger landslides, and violently displace the seafloor. When the rupture comes, it will happen in minutes, releasing centuries of stored energy. The shaking will be intense and long-lasting, setting the stage for catastrophe. The laws of physics guarantee this energy will be released, it's only a matter of when. The region must prepare for the inevitable. Imagine a normal day in Manila, bustling streets, the hum of traffic, people going about their daily routines unaware of the danger lurking beneath their feet. Suddenly, without warning, the ground begins to tremble. At first, it's a subtle vibration, but within seconds, it escalates into a violent, relentless shaking that throws the city into panic. The earthquake rages on for what feels like an eternity. Minutes of terror as buildings crumble, bridges snap like twigs, and the city's infrastructure is torn apart. Streets split open, power lines fall, and chaos erupts everywhere. Older, vulnerable structures collapse instantly, trapping thousands beneath rubble. Even the most modern skyscrapers, engineered for strength, sway dangerously, their glass facades shattering and raining debris onto the streets below. As the earth finally settles, a new and even more terrifying threat emerges. Far offshore, the seafloor has shifted dramatically, displacing a massive volume of water and setting the stage for a catastrophic tsunami. The ocean begins to behave strangely. Water along the coast recedes rapidly, exposing the ocean floor and leaving fish flopping in the sand, a haunting, silent warning of what's to come. Then, with a deafening roar, the first tsunami wave crashes ashore. But it's not alone. A relentless series of waves follows, each one more destructive than the last, obliterating everything in their path, homes, businesses, entire neighborhoods. Coastal towns are swallowed by water, their infrastructure reduced to twisted metal and shattered concrete. Streets become rivers of debris, and entire districts are transformed into a toxic, unrecognizable wasteland. Massive ships are hurled inland, coming to rest atop buildings or in city parks. Even reinforced concrete structures are no match for the sheer force of the waves, and the devastation spreads for miles beyond the shoreline. The onslaught doesn't stop. Wave after wave pounds the coast, flooding city streets again and again, compounding the destruction and making rescue efforts nearly impossible for hours on end. For millions of residents, there's nowhere to run. Roads are blocked, bridges are down, and floodwaters trap people in their homes or on rooftops, desperately awaiting help that may not come soon enough. Emergency responders are stretched to their limits, overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the disaster. Communication lines are down, resources are scarce, and chaos reigns as people search for loved ones and basic necessities. The aftermath is a humanitarian crisis of unimaginable proportions. Relief camps spring up but food, water and medical supplies are in short supply. The region faces weeks if not months of hardship and recovery. This isn't just a distant nightmare or a scene from a disaster movie. Scientists warn that such a scenario is not only possible but likely given the region's seismic history and current vulnerabilities. The only way to prevent this tragedy is to act now, by preparing, strengthening infrastructure and educating communities before disaster strikes. The time to act is before this day arrives. Manila, one of the world's densest cities, sits atop soft soil that amplifies shaking and risks liquefaction. A major quake could sink entire neighborhoods, rupture utilities and paralyze rescue efforts. But the threat extends far beyond the Philippines. A tsunami would race across the South China Sea striking Taiwan, Vietnam, Southern China, and even Brunei and Malaysia. Cities like Kaohsiung, Da Nang and Hong Kong would have little time to react. The region's geography traps wave energy making the tsunami even more destructive. Millions could be left homeless with ports, airports and communication networks destroyed. The economic and human toll would ripple across the globe. The interconnected economies of Southeast Asia would be paralyzed. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami killed over 230,000 people, many with no warning or memory of such disasters. In 2011, Japan's advanced systems couldn't prevent tragedy. Nearly 20,000 died, and a nuclear disaster followed. Even the best preparation can be overwhelmed by a megathrust event. The Philippines has seen deadly tsunamis before but public awareness of the Manila Trench threat is dangerously low. Past disasters are urgent warnings not distant history. 
The Manila Trench combines the worst risks, high population, lack of preparedness and immense seismic potential. The enclosed South China Sea could make tsunami waves even more destructive than in the open ocean. We must heed the lessons of the past to avoid repeating them. In seismology, silence is ominous. A quiet fault is one that's locked and building up catastrophic strain. The Manila Trench's seismic gap means it's overdue for a massive rupture. Sediment studies show major quakes recur here every few centuries. The last was long ago. The longer the silence, the more violent the eventual quake. This threat is invisible, making it easy for the public and policymakers to ignore. But the science is clear, tectonic plates keep moving, and the strain keeps building. The quiet is a mask for a process of immense power. Scientists see the warning signs in GPS data and fault maps. The urgency cannot be overstated, this is a clear and present danger. The time to prepare is now, not after disaster strikes, we are in the late stages of a massive geological cycle. For the Philippines' west coast, tsunami warning time could be as little as five minutes. Most people would have to recognize the danger and evacuate on their own. Official warnings may come too late. The region lacks robust warning systems, sirens and public education. Emergency services would be crippled by the quake itself, with hospitals, roads and communications in ruins. Millions could be stranded without water, food, or medical care for days. Building a culture of preparedness takes years, but investment is lagging. We need more seafloor sensors, public drills, and stronger building codes. The last mile of warning, reaching every person in danger, is still missing. The race against time is about preparation, not just minutes before the wave. Right now, the region is losing that race. The Manila Trench threat is inevitable, but our response is not. We can't stop the plates but we can prepare, saving lives through science, education and cooperation. Invest in deep ocean sensors and real-time monitoring for faster, more accurate warnings. International cooperation is essential, tsunamis don't respect borders. Public education must be relentless, everyone should know the warning signs and evacuation routes. Preparedness must become second nature, ingrained in daily life. Governments must enforce building codes and plan for mass evacuation and relief. The cost of preparation is tiny compared to the cost of recovery. Science and history have warned us, now is the time to act. The silent trench won't wait, our window to prepare is closing fast.